In this short video, I'm going to show you how to modify a created chart in a way that it looks professional and it's ready for publication, meaning that you can copy and paste that into your reports, into your journal and conference articles and papers. So first of all, let's understand the data that I have presented using a bar chart over here. The data shows different months from January to December and average snowfall and rainfall in St. Paul, Minnesota and the units for average snowfall and average rainfall is inch. Now, this bar chart is not an ideal chart. It's not okay to present something like this in your reports. There are several reasons. First of all, you have no idea about x-axis title and y-axis title. You have no idea about what this chart represents. You have no idea about different colors what is blue? What is orange? So we are going to actually take a moment and together fix this chart and make it publication ready. So the first thing that I want you to do is whenever you click in the plot area, this area is plot area. When you click on plot area, you, can, you will see that there is a plus sign popping up, popping up over here. It's called chart elements. When you click on that, you can see different chart elements. We want to have access titles. We want to have chart titles. Also, we want to have a legend. These are necessary and very important components and elements for every chart that you need to have. All right. So before modifying the chart further, I'm going to actually change the font. The default font for Microsoft Excel, Excel is Calibri. However, this is not a professional font that you can use in publication. So I want you to change the font for this chart from Calibri to Times New Roman. Times New Roman. When you type Times, the rest of it will appear, right? And then press Enter. You can see that the um, font is changed right now. Times New Roman is one of the most common um, fonts for figures and for charts that you can insert in any journal paper or conference paper. Now, also you can see the font color is kind of gray. We want to be black. So the only thing that you need to do is click, click on this font color and change it to automatic. It will be black so it pops out better and it's more readable. Now, before we talk about different axes and to change them, I don't like my legend to be on the right hand side of this graph. So what I'm going to do is simply double click on the legend and then click on um, add chart element. So when you click on add chart element, there are different icons that will help you to adjust and modify different parts of your chart. What we are interested in is legend. So right now the legend is on the right hand side of the chart. We want it to be on the bottom like this and then click on this so this will give you more real estate to be able to see your chart now let's add some x axis title and y axis title to our chart so our x axis is months and our y axis as you can see over here these titles for the columns will give you a good idea about y axis so because we have both of these, both snowfall and rainfall, it's going to be average snowfall and rainfall in inches. So I'm going to double click on it and, uh, and write average snowfall and rainfall and add into the bracket the units for that. Perfect. Now I'm going to change the size of my chart a little bit. There we go. To make it bigger and more there we go perfect now if you take a look at um, the y-axis range it ranges from negative 5 all the way to 30 however the largest y value that we have is around 10 right so I'm going to double click on my y-axis and then go under access options under access options, change the minimum and max maximum. I'm going to change the minimum to zero and maximum to 12 maybe. 
there we go now it is way more easy to understand what is going on and see the trends right it's not flattened anymore but, all right before doing anything else i want to add a chart title for this chart so we know that this chart represents average snowfall and rainfall in saint paul right so what i'm going to do is write is write monthly average snowfall and rainfall in St. Paul, Minnesota. Notice that the chart title should be very descriptive to tell you what is going on. All right. So now again, I'm going to focus on um, my y-axis. You can see that there is no physical y-axis right now over here. So again, double click on your y-axis, go to fill and line. We want to add a line. If it's not extended like this, make sure that you extend the line. And we want to add a solid line to our y-axis. If this color is not black, change it to black. And now if you click on the white area, which is called chart area, you'll see that the one black line has been added to my y-axis. Now, ticks are very important to show where the data, where these labels are available. So I'm going to add some ticks to my y-axis. Again, double click on your y-axis. You will go to axis options, tick marks. And then we want tick marks for our major uh, points. So right now is none. We want to set it to outside. When you click on outside, right now you will see all these ticks appearing for major markers. Now we are going to repeat the same process for x-axis. By mean I mean by that I mean double click on your x-axis, go to fill and line, under line click on solid line. If this color is not black, change it to black, and that's it. You can see the black x-axis appearing over there. Now we need to add uh, tick marks. Double click on your x-axis, go to axis options, tick marks for major types outside, there we go. Now we have tick marks for x-axis as well. So another thing that I wanna do, I wanna add, I wanna basically put my bars into a box. So I wanna add a black line over here and over here. So click anywhere in this plot area and then go to fill on line. Under border, click on solid line and change the color to black. There we go, now click on the white area. You'll see that right now my bars are in one uh, basically um, rectangle, black rectangle, right? So I'm gonna get rid of the grid line. Click on one of these um, grid lines. They are selected and then press delete on your keyboard. They're all deleted. So right now my chart looks good. However, there is one problem with it. And the problem with this chart is the colors, the colors of the bars. Do not trust the original and default colors that Excel recommends. Why is that? Because usually when we, you print this, and because our printers are black and white, you cannot distinguish between different colors. So you need to modify your charts in a way that the colors are distinguishable. How to do that? It's very easy. I'm going to first change the average snowfall, which is represented by blue, right? So I'm going to double click on it. And now I'm going to uh, go to this fill and extend this fill. There are many ways to change that. First of all, I want to change the pattern. So instead of having an automatic selected, you can select pattern fill and select any of these patterns that is um, represented for you. So for example, I would select um, which one? This pattern, okay? Now, immediately, right now, you can say that this pattern, if I print this graph in a black and white printer, you can immediately see the difference between average snowfall and average rainfall, right? Because um, the legend shows that they are represented differently. However, just to make it more clear, double click on that. We are going to change the color of the pattern from blue to black. Perfect. And now I'm going to close this fill and open border. Right now you can see there is no border. I'm going to select black for border and see what happens. 
there is a clear black line around the pattern that I selected. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for the orange, uh, uh, the orange color or rain, average rainfall. Double click on that. A border, this time I will put a red border and then I'm going to uh, fill it with um, another type of pattern and this time I'm going to fill it with um, maybe this kind of pattern and change the color to red. Perfect. Now you can see that um, you can see the differences between two bars even if you print this in a, um, in a um, black and white printer, okay? So now that you have this graph ready, this graph can be presented in your presentations using PowerPoint. It can be copied and pasted into a Word document for your reports, for a journal paper, or for any um, conference paper. This is how you prepare a publication ready and professional graph. I expect you to create this quality graph for your labs and for anything else that we do in this class. This video was a short introduction on how to create professional graphs with all chart elements necessary to create a publication ready chart.